And one of the things, you know, you notice as I've lived in Singapore now for, for about 16 years, is that, you know, there's a stereotype about, about Malay people. And it's not just that, uh, you know, the Chinese majority holds these stereotypes, many Malay also hold these stereotypes. And the puzzle is why are Malays, you know, basically, not basically, but since independence, why are they in the lowest strata in terms of economics and education? And one of the main hypotheses about that is that they are, they don't work hard. And, um, you know, it was labeled, you know, the Malay problem, that there's something, and then there's different strains of this. There's basically three strains of this. And one is biological. Actually, Malays bi biology are, um, uh, are, are, are unmotivated. Some people say it's by culture that they're, um, what do you call it? They're influencing themselves and the culture kind of spreads that way. And the third is, is, is a lot more sympathetic. It's more like the Malays are not tied into the Chinese uh, majority's values of, you know, uh, doctor, lawyer means success and make as much money as you possibly can means success. It's about having a good family and a good life and a good religious life and all of that kind of stuff. But irrespective of the source, the conclusion is the same, that you would find that, uh, that Malays would be, um, what do you call it, unmotivated, and also that they would, would, would not have a, an aspiration or a, or a material kind of aspiration. And you would expect that to be especially true with, with students in, the, in normal tech stream, uh, right? The not in SMU, but in normal tech stream. And so what we found was that we interviewed people, uh, we're interviewing adults, but when they looked back at their childhood, many of them said, yeah, um, I didn't study very hard. Yeah. That's one of the ways, not the only way, but it's one of the ways to do badly on the PSLE is to not study. But what we discovered is that the, non, uh, the majority of the folks that we talked to in terms of normal tech were not studying very hard, but it was spread out among the races. There were you know, basically proportional to the numbers of people we talked to, Chinese and Malays. And so there wasn't anything inherent about the Malays. Many of the people that we talked to who weren't studying, weren't studying uh, because they were playing. And, you know, in the West, we think that's a good thing. Children yeah. play is a good thing. But in Let Singapore, children be children. yeah, right. Let children be children. You know, you have to work, but it's kind of like you ramp it up and all of that kind of stuff and that you actually learn more by playing and stuff like that. But in Singapore, if you're not studying by age six or seven, you're in mm. really big, big trouble. Yeah. And so that was part of it. But some of them had, um, you know, family um, issues, disruption, family trauma, other kinds of things that would impede them from studying. Some of them had, were smart, but they had trouble with what we might call book smart. And so okay. they were hands-on learners they, and all of that kind of stuff. But no matter, irrespective of the issue, you did have a good chunk of people who were studying really hard uh, and still didn't pass the PSLEs. And you, uh, I mean, they uh, did well enough to get into normal tech, but not well enough to get into normal ACAT. But then you had a lot of people who weren't studying. And the point, the first point is, that it was spread among the Malays and the non-Malays. And so it's nothing inherent with, with the Malays. And the second is that most of the people, be it Chinese or uh, Malay or Indian, uh, most of the people that weren't studying as kids were focused and engaged later on in life. Okay. And so it's not like it's something inherently cultural or yeah. biological, it yeah. can change. And Part of it was that some people got kind of this aha moment where they discovered who they were and what they wanted to be. Might have happened later in life. Some of them had happened in actually in ITE because they were hands-on learners. And then when they got to ITE, they were starting to do things that they were actually good at. And the uh, teachers there were, the instructors there were encouraging and all of that kind of stuff. Some of it happened in the world of work. But so, and, and, and so the second lesson is that even if, a, if, even if a kid isn't studying, isn't focused by the PSLE time, uh, it, it doesn't mean that's fixed, that, uh, yeah. you know, that, that people can get inspired later on in life. Sorry, long answer to uh, your short question. 